Welcome Kate and Danya and welcome everyone to the premiere of the 2021 Isolating Together Me Film Festival. Um, the short uh, that you're going to see were created by students who are enrolled in the School of Interactive Arts and Technology at Simon Fraser University. Um, the students took a class this spring um, called Moving Images, led by Professor Kate Hennessy. And the course was built around um, digital program and a platform developed by the Museum of Vancouver last spring. Um, a program that invites Vancouverites uh, and anyone connected to Vancouver and the region to share their experience of isolation in the form of uh, images and, and videos uh, using the hashtag isolating together MOV. And we did this as a way to document um, this very important moment um, in the history of the city. Uh, and at the same time, we did it to uh, create a sense of, of togetherness. Um, the response since last May has been great. Um, we have regular contributors touching stories, beautiful images. Um, and, uh, and so we were like super happy when Kate last year approached us to see if she could build a course around um, um, isolating together at MOV. So um, for having worked with Kate and the, uh, as students in the past, I knew that even if the, um, the assignment was uh, challenging, like, you know, creating a, a short document with very little limited resources, I, I knew that they would rise to the occasion. And, um, and yeah, they, they did. Um, so uh, you'll see beautiful stories, um, well executed, um, original perspectives. And you'll see, I, I really felt that I got to meet so many great, um, interesting, resilient people, very inspiring. So thank you. Thank you so much, Vivian. Um, it's wonderful to be here with you again. And uh, thank you so much for all the support you've given to our students and to me, and also to Dunya Uj, who, who is the uh, teaching assistant that has uh, worked with us last semester and this semester. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we were, you know, full of trepidation last summer, trying to figure out how we would take a video course that involves a lot of studio time and critique together in person and a lot of interfacing with people that we're making films about out in the world into an online course without access to the kinds of uh, equipment that we would normally have. But we uh, worked together to figure out a way to uh, teach students about uh, making short films and thinking of this as a really great opportunity to document people's stories of the pandemic. So. You know, the first semester, um, it was very much stories about dealing with being uh, confined um, and the sort of fear of the pandemic and thinking about, you know, what, what lies ahead in the future. I think this semester we saw films that reflected even more, um, you know, the experience of uh, and the trauma of the situation and also a lot of humor and a lot of amazing uh, resilience and perspectives on what this has meant for us. So. Um, it's been exciting to see that and really an honor to be a part of. Um, but for sure, we had some challenges and we had to get creative about how we would teach and what that could look like online instead of in person. And I just want to uh, hand it over to Dunya to talk a little bit about some of the things that we did that uh, enabled people to learn in a different way. Yeah, thanks, Kate. Um, yeah, so definitely a different experience of uh, taking this course for students. Uh, fully online rather than in person. And so we had a couple of assignments that were really interesting um, to kind of help students through this and uh, teach them about pandemic image making. Like, how do you do that when you don't have uh, access to the equipment that you normally would have? Um, so we asked students, for example, to kind of do an inventory of, um, of the things that they have at home, maybe cameras or maybe other things that could be helpful for filmmaking. And it was really just so inspiring to see how resourceful students were with that. Um, we also asked them to make a little COVID museum and think through what kind of objects were important to them in this pandemic to start thinking about what kind of stories they maybe wanted to tell. And we had some really interesting um, collections from that as well. Um, and then we had two assignments that were specifically focused on them. Um, distance image making, distance uh, portraits and distance interviews, where we ask students to create a portrait of each other or of a family member or friend um, using Zoom. Um, so really paying more attention to uh, composition, light, color, 
um, and some super interesting results from that as well. Um, so it's, for me, it's just been really inspiring to see how students pick this up and were able to create really unique images um, that definitely translated into the final films as well. So uh, very inspiring to be part of this. Thank you. Thank you, Dunya. Um, so as a kind of culmination of this semester of working online and rethinking assignments and interfacing with you, Vivian, and uh, members of staff at the museum, um, we're really excited today to uh, first celebrate the completion of these films and bringing them to the museum's YouTube channel as a part of the Isolating Together MOV project. Um, but we also wanted to acknowledge and, and uh, give some awards for what we felt were the most outstanding films this semester. Um, so we are going to start by um, awarding a, a, a few awards and we'll just give a brief uh, description of why we think these films were so deserving. And then we're also gonna hand it over to you, Vivian, to announce the museum's award, which we have called uh, in consultation with you, the Golden Mask Award. So we're excited to be able to uh, announce that as well. I think all the films were really, um, you know, fantastic in their own way. So I think everyone should feel extremely proud of themselves, but we just wanted to highlight a few that really um, sort of upped the, the standard and, and went in new directions that were very exciting for us to see. So um, with that, we will uh, move into the awards ceremony section. And I hope that those of you who are watching at home will um, applaud along with us or share some happy emoticons and comments here in the YouTube premiere chat. Um, the first film that we would like to recognize is the uh, award for uh, best narrative film. So just as a little bit of background, students had really like creative freedom in determining what kind of story they were going to tell and how they were going to tell it. And people took all different approaches. So some people made completely animated films, some people made documentaries, some people made narrative films. And uh, we have you know, a really wide range of films that we're sharing. But the first film that we'd like to recognize is for the category of uh, narrative film or best narrative. And that film uh, is called On Occasion and it's by Melissa Ho and Yan Timoshenko. So congratulations, Melissa and Yan. Yay. Um, we thought this film was um, a really beautiful visual poem. Uh, uh, written and filmed in honor of uh, my very favorite thing, shoes. <laughs> so of course I couldn't resist it, but in addition to being uh, the st a story about neglected shoes and, and how they might be feeling during this time, this was a, a beautifully uh, filmed, uh, wonderfully acted, beautifully edited and written film. So congratulations, Melissa and Ryan.
Um, the next film that we would like to recognize is in the category of best documentary. So the film that we'd like to uh, recognize here is called We Are Fighters. It's by Chan, Chang Dong He and Lan Yu Kei Wang. Um, this was filmed where these two students are in China. Um, and so they've been taking this film remotely from their homes in different parts of China. Um, and they've uh, gone out to interview different members of their community in the cities where they are trying to show how the pandemic has affected different people in their frontline roles um, in, in society today. So it's beautifully filmed. Um, the, the lighting, the composition, the storytelling, the editing have all come together in I think a very uh, special portrait of people who they've been encountering in their lives. So congratulations, uh, Chang Dong and Lan Yi Kei. Out of you. Jackie 我在医院工作已经有二十五年了测体温上海没有出门在道路上基本上看不到几辆车穿防化服啊有很大的困难在医疗卫生的资源不管是人还是物资都极度的匮乏那在那样的时候我们全院
九百多名护士当中，有四百多人主动的写下了请战书，摁上了一个个的红手印。那个时候，我真的感到非常非常的感动。自己戴口罩，自己注意安全卫生，自己尽量少往人多的地方走。那我们携手共进，一起和整个世界共同抗击疫情。让我们齐心协力，共同抗击疫情。武汉加油，世界加油！The next awards that we'd like to give、um, is for COVID portrait, so best COVID portrait, and we have a tie here because we just couldn't decide. So the first film that we would like to recognize is by Robin George. It's called Ultraviolet, and it's a portrait of an artist in in, in isolation.、Uh, we loved the 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 choice of、uh, subject. The artist who's being featured is incredibly vibrant and wonderful to watch, and her art is so much fun. So this was a really uplifting story of、um, the way one artist has found a new medium and developed her practice. And Robin did a wonderful job of representing her,、uh, the studio, and the story that she's telling. So congratulations, Robin. I just need you to introduce yourself. <laughs>、uh, <clears throat> my name is Violet Patridge, and I'm an artist living in Vancouver, British Columbia,、uh, who specializes in、uh, sculpture, photography as well,、uh, specifically working with recycled baby dolls, plastic ones mostly. One example of what I do with the babies is turn the heads into planters, carve out the top,、um, and make it like really nice edge all the way around. Like that's probably what takes me the longest amount of time is just like making this edge like perfect. And I'll also plug the bottom of them, so I'll scalp a little piece at the bottom so that you know just just like a little a dr- little drain hole, and it keeps it you know upright. Um, I'll plant a plant in it, or I'll ship them empty if it's going to be sold through my website. Since the pandemic, my process has changed in a lot of ways. I'd say、uh, I've started a website during this time, which was a huge one for me. This was my big push to have an online shop. As far as connections and doing collaborations with people, before the pandemic, I mean, obviously we could do things in person, and I would. Bring people over to my studio and do photo shoots. Now with with the pandemic, interacting with people online is really the main way to do it. A recent project that I've been starting to work on that will be helping me engage with more people is to make blank baby heads and give them out to artists who paint or who are able to add their own flair to my head. So yeah, I think just like trying to be creative and reaching out and trying not to be so. Secluded, which I really feel secluded a lot of the time, and so it's. I know that it's up to me to reach out. It's not just waiting for people to reach out to me. That's a really good idea, dude. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's a really good idea. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like obviously, I have so many heads, and I don't feel like I have enough time to like be able to do everything and make it cool. And so, yeah, why not just like collab? Before the pandemic. I guess the furthest I would the, I would have gotten with a head would be, you know, like add the bottom to it and cut the top and maybe spray paint it and add a little things. But now I'm starting to add a bit more,、uh, which is just like a little bit more paint and adding more patterns and kind of silliness to it. Or like yeah, having like a barfing baby, so like adding、uh, more clay to it, doing this sort of thing. Uh, thinking beyond just doing a baby head、uh, and putting a plant in it, and that's it. But trying to add layers and just try everything to make it weirder and weirder and just different. 
yeah, I feel like I've evolved quite a bit during this time because what else was I gonna do? <laughs> what else is there to do? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I want, yeah, obviously I want to, <laughs> you know. Um, the other film that we'd like to recognize in this category um, is one that really moved us and it was really interesting to see the development of this film throughout the course. This film uh, was created by Kaizen Hutchful. It's called Natasha. Um, and this is a very honest portrait of uh, one of, of Kaizen's friend, Natasha, and her experience in the pandemic of uh, moving home and having to confront some of really big challenges within her family and the way that she was able to um, find a kind of new um, direction and sense of where she wanted to go and what she wanted to do in that time. So uh, this was really an excellent film. I hope uh, both Natasha and Kai, you feel really proud of what you've represented and it's an important contribution to our memory of this time and I hope for you as well, Natasha. So uh, congratulations to you both. The next film that we'd like to recognize is in the category of best visual effects. So there were a lot of interesting visual effects that many people used across, the, across their projects. Um, but the one that really stood out for us is a film by Shayla Powell. It's called I Am Not Enjoying This. And um, this is just a wonderful, whimsical, beautifully rendered, animated short film that takes us through one person's personal uh, sort of transformation and the way that they have come to understand themselves in this time, which I think is inspiring for everybody to watch. So uh, really big congratulations to Shayla for her film. I am not enjoying this. I can totally relate. Thank you, Shayla. A stay at home order, effective Thursday at 12.01 a.m. Under this order, everyone must stay home and only go out for essential trips to pick up groceries. I remember when home. I first heard that stay at home order and all I could think of was, yes, finally, I got to rediscover having a little bit of free time to myself. I was able to bake and cook and play video games and read and talk to people and it was like discovering freedom all over again but quick disclaimer i do know that the pandemic is a pretty serious thing and people are suffering this is just my personal way of being optimistic i'm definitely not enjoying this for months upon months, I just got to enjoy my free time, do things that I never got a chance to do, like meditate. Slowly and slowly, with all this, I started to notice myself getting a little stale, a little disorganized, and maybe even a little insensitive. And then one day, I got the call. I was definitely anything but ready to go back to normal. I think it was time to admit myself that I was having a little bit of my own crisis. I had realized that I hadn't given myself the same space to be annoyed and frustrated just like everyone else. I think it was time to stop trying so hard on being proactive and just let go of the reins a bit. So I went back and I decided I was going to give this another try. And finally, when I managed to get those thoughts to just 
sit tight for a few moments, I remembered something that I was told a long time ago. The only constant in this world is change. And with that in mind, I was able to find the thought that said, everything's going to be okay. The next film that we'd like to uh, acknowledge is a film um, that's really funny. It makes us laugh out loud every time. Um, and this film, we're going to give an award for best editing. But I think there are many different ways we could acknowledge this film, but the, the award that we're awarding is best editing. And this goes to Wesley Liu for his film Split. Yay, Wesley. Split is written, directed, acted, edited, visual effects, produced, soundtrack, everything by Wesley Liu. Um, watch it with us and you'll see what we mean. And congratulations, Wesley, on a really cool, funny film. Oh, there's so much work to do. Why does it feel like my head is splitting apart? stuck inside for too long and uh, ah, because of that uh, your brain has kind of split into multiple people and I am one of them what <laughs> ah, look at this guy it's so funny where did you get that from and there's a reward for this game oh I gotta watch that video later and that video Please. later stop first of all that's my phone please give it hey, back hey bro that's too far. Oh, so you do get what I'm saying. Oh, no, 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 I wasn't listening. You're leaning too far forward. I can't see the screen. Move, move, move. What? Hey, can you sh No, no, no. You listen to me, okay? Oh, come on. You're you just let me wasting your life. This is my personal time you're wasting. What's going on? Great, another one. Where did you come from? Ah, I was doing some push-ups on the ground. Hey, you just... Shift over to the side of it, thank you. You! Uh, you smell like someone who hasn't even been outside in... in months! How about... Nah, I'm just gonna sit here and play my games. Games, huh? That's actually not a bad idea. What? Don't encourage him! Exercise games, that is all! <laughs> Work on your flexibility with this one. Work on your back what and shoulder. What the? You can't do that! I was playing here! Really? <laughs> when you're covered in sweat and dripping all over the place, you'll be thanking me! Ew! Gross! I don't wanna! Come on, just get up and try it! Oh boy, can this get any worse. And I spoke too soon. What's going on? Oh, Thank you. Finally, someone with a proper reaction to this. You're all evil! Never mind. Oh. You figure something out? You remember how when we were really young and we'd imagine ourselves to be the hero? Of... So he's like the fantasy hero version of us then? Wait, can you run really, really fast? Oh, can I run fast? Oh my god. Wait, how is that even possible? I don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat? That's the whole point. You should be sweating. Get up. Hey, don't touch me. You need to wake up. Get up. Get up. No, there. I don't want you. Get him to do hey, it. Hey, I've actually got work to do, and you're all wasting my time. Can you get out? Oh, you like, need actually, to stop sitting on your butt. You get out of my bed. bed. You're you're you need to get out of my bed. Go for it. You. You're, you're going to jump. Shut up. Everyone, stop and shut up. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're gonna shoot us if we don't shut up? <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, oh my goodness, what did you just do? This is a power I have that freezes people for a short time. I call it freeze. That's not very creative. Silence! You know what? This base has been compromised. 
and I know the perfect way to get rid of all of them. I'm going to destroy this place and bury you all in it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Good plan. Whoa. What just happened? What's going on? Oh, no. no. he was being serious? No, 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 no. We, we, we gotta get out of here. I don't know how to end this video. Uh, maybe I should just take a break. Go for a quick walk? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I'll do. So now that we have given out our class awards, I would like to hand uh, things over to Vivian Goslin to tell us about your selection for this semester's Golden Mask Award from the Museum of Vancouver. Okay, um, so the students made it really hard. Um, uh, the communication teams and myself reviewed um, the films and enjoyed it tremendously. Uh, we will be giving the Golden Mask Award to I Am Not Enjoying This by Sheila Powell. Um, and so to echo some of the comments, yes, beautifully animated. Uh, it feels very personal. Uh, the rhythm is good. She, you know, the, 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 she takes us through that that protagonist journey um, <clears throat> and, and captures this wide range of emotion. Like, really, like the, the, all of us feel that you know we're living these these paradoxes, right? Like moments of pleasure and then anxiety and then discovery and and the role of meditation in this journey to to, to help her cope. And and the story ends brilliantly with an open ended resolution, I, I would say, um, and a good reminder that the only constant in life is is change. So um, yes, well done. Congratulations, Shayla. And uh, yes, so you are the winner of the Golden Mask Award. I love to say that. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So happy. Good, good job, Shayla. Congratulations. Um, so I'd like to hand now over to uh, Dunya, who's going to share with us a couple of additional films that we think really deserve honorable mentions. Yes, we just wanted to highlight two other films that didn't get an award, but we, that we thought were still just really good. So we wanted to give them a, an honorable mention. Um, so the first film is Breathing New by Michelle Irving, um, which is a beautiful portrait of her father who received a lung transplant during the COVID pandemic. Um, so make sure to watch that one as well. Um, and then the second film is Thankful for the Memories by Sack Agnes, a really lovely uh, personal portrait as well about his skiing experience with his family. Um, lots of nice shots of the mountains and skiing and it just makes you wanna go up there. Mm -hmm. um, so just wanted to give a brief mention to those two. Uh, congratulations on your films. Yay. Um, and overall, huge congratulations to everyone who participated. There were many excellent films um, and I think everyone should feel very proud. And I also just wanna say again, Vivian, how thankful we are to have the opportunity to collaborate with you in the museum um, in order to share these stories, um, to make them available in a new way to the public and just to be a part of this moment where we can contribute these stories as memories for the future. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder if we could just talk a little bit about what you are planning to do with the Isolating Together MLV project or um, with the videos in the future. Sure. Um, so we are planning a small exhibition in the MLV studio uh, this summer. So I'll, I'll make sure to uh, share the exact opening dates and it will be um, featuring uh, objects that we collected. So what we call COVID artifacts, just to kind of bring home the fact that we're collecting the contemporary and these pivotal moments we need to document in, in, in many sort of ways. So yes, material culture, um, a digital culture is also um, 
top of mind and those short videos really fall into this. Uh, so there's going to be um, a projections of, um, so a field projection of all of those um, SFU uh, films will, will be featured in uh, the exhibition. And I think it will create this kind of constellation of stories, of, of lived experiences, and, and it's going to be very rich. Uh, and I'm sure members of the public, you know, can see it on screen, but will enjoy just sitting down and, and watching them in the gallery space as well. Thank you so much. It's really exciting for us, and I know the students are very thankful and excited as well. Well, that brings us to the end of our awards ceremony. Um, we're so excited to be here to premiere the films on the uh, MLV YouTube channel. I hope that everyone who's watching has a chance to watch these films. And uh, thank you so much for joining us today. So thank you, everyone. Congratulations. Well, let me let me get us into uh, gallery view. There we go. So now we can uh, wave goodbye and wish. Uh, Happy summer to all the students. Um, congratulations. I hope you'll keep making films and keep documenting stories. And uh, thanks for being a part of this with us. Bye. Thank you. Bye.